All right, let's take a look at some chart action for Filecoin. Before we do that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. All right, so I got some stuff drawn out. Let's go ahead and start from scratch and we will come back to all this stuff later. All right, so if you look at this chart, we had a big, huge run up right here and then it kind of topped out right here and then ever since then it's kind of been pushing down all right so let's try to find some levels that we can kind of retrace back to you guys if you guys watch my channel you guys know i'm all about the fibonacci retracement tool so let's get grab the fibonacci retracement tool and let's go to the like like the weekly time frame let's go to the monthly time frame actually all right so let's grab from the bottom of this run and let's take it to the top there's those wicks right there, but I, I know it's hard to see it, but let's go into the hourly and now you can see it better. We have these levels that we, we're watching now and I like to watch the 38% level and the 50% level. At least that's what I've been watching on the stocks lately. On uh, Bitcoin, you can also kind of watch the 61% level. All right, so you can see the price came up, got a bounce off this and we're moving back. We kind of bounced off this 50% level and we moved back into this 38% level now. All right, so let's draw some trend lines. We got this uptrend going like this and it's kind of going like this and then it went like a stronger uptrend, something like that. So we broke down this trend right here where there was support right here and all along this area right here we got a little bit of support right here and kind of some support right here but it ended up breaking down right there so i guess what i'm watching now is this downtrend something like this and you can see we're on the four hour time frame still and the price came up got resistance came down got resistance 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 it just could not break through that resistance resistance and it looks like we're kind of breaking through right now we got this, uh, we got a little bit of green candles, not much yet, but we are on that 38% level. And if we go into a smaller time frame, we kind of have this support coming in right here, and then maybe a little bit of resistance right here. So it looks like we are in this triangle pattern, something like this. Let's see if we break to the upside or the downside. I actually already put in an order just to get a position in, something like this. Uh, we'll see if it breaks up or down. Let's kind of look at the moving averages. So on the four hour, we the price just broke above it right here. All right, so we got the moving averages and we're on the four hour right now. And you can see the moving average like this. And we were getting resistance on the four hour and we finally broke through right here. So the price is actually on top of it. Let's check the daily and see what that looks like. All right, so that's what I was kind of worried about. All right, so the daily moving average is coming in like this. We had support on it coming all the way on every time like this. Every time that we would bounce into it, we'd get support. And then now right here, we broke beneath it. So let's see if we could find some support levels with other moving averages. So let's go to the weekly time frame. So the weekly time frame looks like that moving average is coming down somewhere right here. I wonder if this might be a good level to watch. And then if we go into the monthly time frame, it's not old enough to have a monthly moving average on the nine. All right, so in my opinion, I would say I am going to wait to be super bullish until we can break this moving average right here. The price is down here. Maybe let's get support on it right here at this 50% level. And if it breaks down here, maybe look for support at this 61% level. We got this weekly moving average coming in somewhere around here. Though It's right here right now, but maybe by the time we get over there, it'll be somewhere like right there or like that. Like I said, I put it in an order right here just to hedge my bets. Maybe we can get a move like something like this where we get the back of this triangle, drag it to the breakout somewhere right here. And then that kind of li lines up with this 180 moving average coming in right there at about 170.59. And that is about 10%, which is pretty good. So let's see if we can get something like that on this trade and then we'll kind of reevaluate what's going on by that time if it can get up there it'll probably be testing that daily moving average and we'll see if we can kind of either break it or get resistance on it all right if you guys like that video hit that thumbs up button you guys have a great day